Hi there, my name's Mr Peace. I'm Senior Assistant Head Teacher at Netherstow School um, and I've got responsibility for teaching and learning. I just wanted to explain in the next couple of minutes what a typical lesson looks like at Netherstow School. So we start all of our lessons with a do now activity. So as you've come into the classroom, you'll have this slide or similar slide to it displayed on the, on the board. It's a quizzing activity which is designed to test your recall of knowledge which you've covered in previous lessons or previous topics. After you've had a go at this in silence, then your um, teacher will go through the answers. And as soon as we've um, gone through the answers, we will start on the next part of the lesson. And that will take about five minutes, uh, the whole do now activity. The next part of the lesson will be the teacher introducing to you um, what you're going to be studying in that lesson. We call it a learning intention slide. And as you can see, it's got the title of the uh, lesson, which is always a question, uh, which you're trying to answer. And then down the left hand side, we've got what you really need to be able to do to secure your understanding of this part of the topic that you're studying. And below it is what we're trying to do to achieve excellence. Really importantly on that slide, it's also got the keyword slide. And the keyword slide tells us those really important words which we're going to need throughout this lesson and probably throughout the rest of this topic as well. Following the learning intention slide, we will then have a variety of different slides depending on what subject you're teaching. I teach chemistry and therefore the slide which I'm showing you at the moment is about a practical we might be doing in the lesson. If you're studying other lessons then this part of the lesson might look a bit different. But in many cases the teacher will be modelling something to you and then giving you a chance to practice and have a go at it. Once we've done some modelling and practice, we'll then go to what we call the red zone. This is your chance to have a go at independently testing your knowledge for the lesson so far. These are getting done in silence and you'll do a quick review towards the end of the lesson to let your teacher know how you're getting on and whether you need a bit more help with it. At the end of the lesson, there might be a challenge section, or the challenge might come throughout the lesson, but it could look something like this. Finally, I just want to spend a few minutes talking about knowledge organisers. These are one page summaries of all the really important information you need for the topic which you're studying. We use them in lessons, but you also use them at home as well. In fact, we spend a lot of time on knowledge retrieval practice. We're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop your long-term memory because we think this is really, really key to your success. I hope you've uh, got a little bit of a better understanding of what lessons look like now at uh, Netherstow and I look forward to seeing you very soon.